<laughs> Not so fast. We've got company. <laughs> Dude, I love it how these guys are just going forward and we're like the we're the guardian here, the the veteran just deal with the soldiers. I love it. The banter in this game is also amazing. I love the character interactions. Playing 16 really made me miss this game because 16 was good, but 16 wasn't like, it's not like my favorite Final Fantasy. I think it was a, a fun time, but it was, um, it was lacking in the stuff that Remake did. That being said, it's still a good game. I still really enjoyed 16. Not bad. Playing 16 made me want to play Remake again. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, this music, so nostalgic. Ba, 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 ba. I think not. Oh, I have no ATB, Rip. <laughs> Come here. You thought you could shoot your gun from far? How dumb of you. How foolish. Was never in doubt. Mine? Wait, no, triangle? It's not X in this game, it's triangle? I think because I've been playing so much Zillia 2, I pressed X there, and Zillia 2 used X. What are these? They're so orange. <laughs> what are those supposed to be? Very, a st very a stereotypical grumpy man? No. No. That's... I disagree. <laughs> Barrett has very good motives and intentions as you play the game more. It might seem like that at the very beginning. But, I mean, that's kind of the point. Pick up the pace. I'm on it. What are you doing there, Wedge? I'll secure our escape route, okay? You go on and catch up with the others. Got it, got it. Soldiers may attack on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs too. Bet you've seen a few reactors. So how do we get to the bridge above Mako storage? <sighs> Ain't holding out on me, are you? Stamp scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little doggy? <clears throat> Have it your way, Mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. Never seen one like this, but I'll manage. Ooh, interesting little, uh... Occurrence that happened with Cloud there, which we'll probably get into at some point. What's up, Jesse? Don't you worry. Biggs will have the door open soon. Oh, you're so hot. Look at you in this glorious HD. In three, two... Damn, I'm good. I probably should have talked to Bear at first. Door. Also, I think this is where they teach me about Punisher mode. Well, wait. It's over! That's my line. Cloud's unique ability. Switching modes, every character. Yeah, every character has unique ability. Oh, they're all so fun to play as. I can't wait to get the other characters. I mean, Cloud's gameplay is fun too, but oh, one of the reasons I love this combat system so much is because switching characters on the fly is really fun. I also can't wait to play as Red 13 and Rebirth. Oh, that's going to be great. And I, I guess Kate Sith. With Cloud's mode shift ability, you could switch between his balanced operator mode and his attack orient. Yeah, so Punisher basically does more damage. He's alone. We can take it. Also, you can counter, I think. Yeah, it's gonna tell me here. In Punisher mode, Cloud moves more slowly but unleashes a powerful more attack than usual. In addition, Cloud launches a counter blow every time he guards an enemy attack. So I believe the way it works is if an enemy uses a physical thing on you, if you hold R1 while in Punisher, you can counter. Or, if you're switching to Punisher and the enemy happens to hit you, you can sometimes counter it. It's very fun to switch on the fly. Let me try. Can you guys hit me here? Oh yeah, get wrecked. <laughs> I love countering. It's so fun. 
Alright, those guys sure didn't last long. I'm a perfectionist. What can I say? Well, what are you waiting for? I'm trying to look for you guys so I can like talk to you, maybe. Okay, never mind. The game doesn't want me to talk to you. Oh wait, is this one of you? Yeah, this is Barrett. I didn't even see him. Simmer down, hot shot. <laughs> no can do. It's a good thing I know someone who can get us the passcodes. <sighs> Pity no one else at command will talk to us, but what can you do? <sighs> and we're good. Careful in there. <laughs> Hacker voice we're in. I got this place covered. <laughs> Where are the Moogle coins? Maybe you can't get Moogle coins because I don't know about them. I could have sworn you could get Moogle coins before you learn what they are. I don't think you learn about Moogle coins till like chapter 8 or something. It might be a little earlier than that. I don't remember. Security is only going to get tighter, so be ready. We can't afford any more mistakes. Oh, mistakes. Don't be like that. Open sesame. So, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but are you guys close? Good old Nibbleheim. Tifa and I. Can't reveal everything now. We gotta have a 35 to 40 hour game. appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. We are currently investigating whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. <laughs> this pump's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry. While you sleep, while you eat, while you sit, it's here sucking up Mako. Language. It doesn't rest, and it doesn't care. You do realize what Mako is, don't you? Mako uh. is the lifeblood of our world. The planet bleeds green like you and me bleed red. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Answer me! You gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in pain? I know you can! You really hear that? Damn straight I do. Get help. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> Get help. I love that line. I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. Wise words from Cloud, surprisingly. Dude, the Cloud's like face there while Barrett was like talking to him was just Our like, I don't care now. about this. You listening, Merc? One false move. And that happens. Well, so much for having Cloud do all the fighting. I've dealt with gunshots before. The sword just can't reach. Bear with him for me, would you? <laughs> Should have asked for more money. <laughs> Why am I here? Why am I doing this? I need more money, man. I need to pay the bills. I love the banter in this game. Barrett Wallace joined the party. Let's go. Barret specializes in ranged attacks. Wow, I would have never guessed that, Square Enix. It's not like the giant gun gave it away. Holding down Square releases a sustained burst of automatic fire when equipped. Barret can fire from safe location. 
Right, overcharge, I think it's called. Gonna throw your sword at him? Let the man with the gun go to work. Goodbye. Wait, I missed? How? How did I miss that? Maybe I wasn't locked on? What are my abilities here? Focus shot? Use it on this one. Oh wow, that brought you to half. I think overcharge kills here. You can also charge it up. I completely forgot you can do that. I hardly ever use charge with Barrett. You're done. Just die. Thank you. Your turn. Suck it. Press triangle while in combat. Barrett to deliver a heavy hitting attack that fills a large portion of ATB gauge. That, that one lived. You should be dead, sir. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> what does steel skin do? Reduces damage taken and how easily you're interrupted. Just focus shot. I don't think I ever use steel skin. You can switch to different characters depending on the situation. Right, L2 and R2 to issue commands. You can do that. It's really nice. So you can issue like a command to Cloud if you're playing as Barret. Hi, I'm Cloud. How's it going? Cloud Strife, you may have heard of me in the classic FF7 from 1997. Nice. Who else is here? Okay, you're another mana drive. Oh yeah? How about I aim for your head? The banter in this game, man. I love it. Hey, did you see me in action? Must have missed it. <laughs> Must have missed it. This game is great. I think Barrett can also like sing the fanfare. That's also pretty great. Did I come from here? I don't remember because of the whole like battle. It turned me around. Also, I haven't heard the game is too loud or too quiet, so I'm just gonna go on a whim. I think during cutscenes is fine, but I'm gonna assume in battle it's fine too. Great. Those things will hurt more than your pride if you're careless. They'll cut you down to size and then some. But I'm guessing you've done this kind of thing before. Yeah, figure out the timing of the lasers. Then, make a move when they cycle off. Exactly. I'll go first. Nothing like a little danger to get the blood pumping. Hey! Just keep those baby blues of yours on me. Oh, Jesse. I've been dashing the whole time. Why are you telling me this now? Let me take a look at the menu. From the main menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can set sh yeah shortcuts. I don't know. I kind of I like the uh, command mode. I think it's called command mode where you f like slow down time. I like using it, but it's nice to have shortcuts. All oh, the enemy intel's. I think there's like a um there's a side quest where you have to do like twenty intel's and that's how you fight Bahamut. We're gonna do all of those. Taking a look at this, getting familiar with it. You can't look at materia yet. I can save my game though. Why do I? Why do I um? Why do I have so many files. It just shows how many times I've like. It's because I like platinum this game and I had to make multiple files. I mean, I'm gonna like. I'm deleting one of these. I don't really want to make a new file. Voices could be louder during cutscenes. I have the audio to max on speech. But I would have to up it on Streamlabs. I guess I can lower the master volume, like, by one. Yeah, I don't know. Try this. There's nothing I can do about the voices other than Streamlabs, because they're at max already. We'll put all these boxes here. Where's my Amazon delivery? Don't mind me, passing through. You're doing good, 
Yeah, I'm, a, I'm something of a gamer myself. More lasers, that's what. These are quicker, though. Oh, I thought I could make it. That's my fault. I think if you keep getting hit, she calls you like a dummy or something. Oh, I'm relaxed, trust me. It's only like 10 damage I take from the lasers. Mine? Call those things sweepers for nothing. They can wipe out a whole squad in seconds. Not if you wipe the floor with them first. I guess I can lower the sound effects by like one and the music by one. Because it's just voices. Ha! We can take this hunk of junk. That hunk of junk is a heavy weapons platform. If we rush in, we die. Is that right? We need to hit it with magic. That should give us an opening. Don't mind me, just gonna burn you to the ground. I'm waiting for chat to give me the okay on battle, on how the audio sounds, by the way, because I'll keep messing with it. Any enemies with certain attacks or dealing large amounts of damage will temporarily knock them off. Yeah, pressuring. Pressure is kind of like a, a like a halfway stagger, and then you it, they, they're just like more, what is it, vulnerable to stagger, that's the word. Okay, I played this game before, so I'm skimming the tutorials. I pretty much got muscle memory here with the game. Uh, die. Get focus thrusted. Enemies who've been staggered are defenseless and take more damage. Classic. This is an FF16. I love how the game echoes when you... I love how the game echoes when you're in command mode. It's very nice. Soldier first class doesn't go into the 20s. What the hell are you talking about? I mean your age, not your goddamn rank. I, uh... <laughs> no, for all I know, a soldier's rank could be the same as his age. Mm-hmm. Guess that makes you a one-year-old, huh? Live and learn. Oh, the best Sonic song? I think it's fine because the game has, if you're farther from the characters, obviously they're going to be more quiet. That's just how the game was made. I don't know what you call that, but it has like the, um, it has like, um, it has the whole thing where like voices are more quiet if you're farther from the characters. So I feel like sometimes if you barely hear the characters, that's like normal. That's just how the game was made. You're going to hear them more clearly if you're near them. It's kind of like something like in real life. They tried to give it like a realistic appeal. I think the audio is fine, to be honest. Unless I get someone saying it's too loud. And I should turn it down. It's mostly in battle I'm nervous about, because if I turn it up too much, then battles are too loud. Yeah, okay. Let's get down there. I'm on it. God damn. I can practically taste tobacco in here. Hurry it up. Oh, I got a Moogle medal. They're not called Moogle coins, they're called Moogle medals. Same difference. I knew you can get them in this first chapter. Oh, Barrett. Thanks for the Phoenix down. Heads up, boys. Although we hardly ever die. You know what I want to do with this game one day? Oh, that's the dummy part. One day, I want to replay- I want to play this game on classic mode. I think I talked about, like, oh, I want to experience classic mode because that's, like, the more turn-based approach. I, I feel like it's just something I have to experience at least once in my FF7 remake playthrough. I don't know if I'll do it for the channel or anything, but one day I just have to- I have to see how this game, like, goes in classic mode. 
I just feel like I owe it to myself to at least give it the good old college try. Not worth my time. Like in Dragon Quest XI, how I want to replay like the whole game in 2D mode one day. Just because it's in the game and I figured like, why not? Just do it the once and be like, yeah, I did it once. Hey, Barret. Get that Sentry Ray. 